Hello friends, welcome to the geography series of lectures. This is Bharat and in this video we are going to see the types of rocks. If you, if you think about rocks, the rocks which are found in the earth's crust are divided into three types friends. One is igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. What are rocks actually? A rock is a naturally formed non-living earth material. Rocks are made up of collection of mineral grains that are held together in firm and solid manner. Rocks have two or more minerals friends. So minerals are obtained from rocks. First we can see the igneous rocks. These are the rocks formed by the crystallization and cooling of lava and magma. Usually the lava and magma which is coming out of the asthenosphere if you have listened to the uh, internal structure of uh, uh, earth then you will come to know that there is mantle and in mantle there is asthenosphere which is a magmatic chamber from that uh, through the volcanic activity you the lava or magma which is the rock is in molten form comes out on the surface of the earth and these rocks are called igneous rocks these igneous rocks after crystallization and cooling they are called igneous rocks friends so the molten material inside the earth crust is called magma and this low cooling of the molten material beneath the earth surface is called if this mold so if you take like this if you consider like this so this is earth and this is magmatic chamber okay the lava comes out lava is in okay friends so this is lava and this lava comes out and cools down friends this cools down and some of the lava will be inside the earth itself if this lava cools inside the earth then it is called intrusive igneous rock if it comes out and if it cools here then it is called extrusive igneous rock that's the difference friends so uh, the the kind of rocks which we found as igneous rocks are basalt andesite rhyolite and for um, and are the examples of extrusive igneous rock which came out for intrusive igneous rock it is granite granite is found inside or inside the hill uh, mountains friends diorite gabbro are examples for intrusive igneous rocks now you are clear with the igneous rocks friends now we will see sedimentary rocks this sedimentary they are formed by the deposition or sedimentation and lathification of the sediments over a period of time as layers over layers deposited over a period of time unified sedimentary rocks are formed friends these are sandstones limestones stramatolites oil shale cool shale gypsum shale conglomerate are the examples of sedimentary rocks so what is sedimentary rocks see friends uh, the sands the rocks and different materials come together and they are deposited layer by layer friends suppose there is a hill over here and water here okay friends this is ocean suppose this is the ocean so some of the rocks will slide down some of the mud will slide down and different materials come together and it forms here it, it is deposited here and after years after years this go down in the earth friends after some time these all depositions come together and forms sedimentary rocks and these are sandstone limestone stamatolites oil shale cool shale gypsum shale and conglomerate now we will see metamorphic rocks the nature of igneous and sedimentary rocks that has been underwent changes due to the effect of tremendous heat and pressure these i have said that these are sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks which goes be uh, beneath the earth and there there is a metamorphosis happens that is the change happens in its very nature due to the tremendous heat and pressure 
and these these are transformed or metamorphosized into some rocks called metamorphic rocks friends that's it so all are one and the same igneous rocks uh, these are basaltic rocks for example and these sediments which are formed from different materials and different rocks come together form sediments that are called sedimentary rocks when this goes down beneath the earth and after some years and years of time due to the tremendous pressure and heat these are metamorphosized into some other rocks called metamorphic rocks so these are uh, rich in minerals and something uh, minerals and compound structure of the minerals gets restructured friends suppose if there is co uh, suppose you can see here see if there is coal coal is metamorphosized into graphite or even graphite is metamorphosized into diamond here what is the difference between coal graphite and uh, uh, diamond all are carbonic carbon uh, carbon compounds friends but the carbon structure is changed here restructuring of within the carbon is changed that is the uh, uh, change in the restructuring in its the very compound structure that is the metamorphosism in the rocks that which happens after this it is called metamorphic rocks and account uh, so the what are the uh, rocks metamorphic rocks knees <coughs> is formed from granite hornblende is formed from basalt in the same way marble is uh, formed from the sedimentary rock limestone graphite is formed from coal diamond is formed from graphite quartzite is formed from sandstone and slate or mica is formed from shale or clay friends so we can say it is a cycle this rock cycle the uh, and one si one man called james hutton uh, has discovered or proposed this rock cycle rock cycle is a process in which rocks are continuously transformed between these three rock types friends so first comes the igneous rocks from igneous rocks after weathering or erosion it becomes sedimentary rocks after metamorphism it becomes metamorphic rocks if this metamorphic rocks uh, comes to the asthenosphere and due to the heat if it melts and then it is called igneous rock again if this uh, if this sedimentary rocks also come to the uh, magmatic chamber and if it get, gets melt up it is also called igneous rock so uh, if this metamorphic rock with a, a weathering and erosion it can become sedimentary rock so all these are one and the same and it changes the forms from one rock to other rock this is proposed by james hutton james hutton has also said that as you see a rock you think that it is of a standard form but our lifetime is very very less to consider the changes in the rock so in the meantime uh, in, as years and years as decades and decades as centuries and centuries passes by these rocks changes from one form to the other form this is uh, said by the james hutton okay friends if you like this uh, video don't forget to give thumbs up friends and don't forget to download the pdf which is in the description box thank you bye bye